By all estimates, the Dixmude would only have enough fuel to last approximately two days. The crew fought bravely against strong winds, thunderstorms, and an airship with dwindling fuel supplies while the commander searched desperately for a place to land. The final communication from Dixmood states that they were reeling in their radio antenna due to the turbulent weather. And seven hours later, the Dixmood would be spotted falling from the sky by rail workers whose attention had been caught by a sudden flash that lit up the night sky. Stories began to spread through the press of the airship having been spotted in different locations by eagle-eyed sky watchers, and hope remained high for the eventual arrival or recovery. However, on December 26th, three days after the final radio communication from Dick's mood, the body of her commander, Duplessis, was recovered by a fisherman on the coast of Sicily. There could be no more denying it. The Dick's mood had gone down, taking the lives of all 50 souls aboard her. 